<laughs> What happens in your body when you're allergic to something? It's actually a very complicated process. <laughs> Let's take hay fever as an example. When an antigen like pollen first enters the body, white blood cells gather to sensitize the body to it. They produce large amounts of an antibody specific to that antigen. In this case, immunoglobulin E or IgE. <laughs> the next time pollen enters the body, IgE goes to work, coating an immune system cell in the nose called a mast cell, and using its tentacles to snag the offending pollen. That activates the mast cell, which begins to give off histamines. And it's those histamines that dilate the blood vessels of the nose, causing it to redden, swell, and get stuffed up, or secrete that drippy, messy stuff we call snot or mucus. <laughs> for many of us, this is a mild reaction, and the mucus washes away the invader. But for an unfortunate 40 to 50 million Americans, the reaction can be more intense, leading to a bout of seasonal allergies. What happens to become an allergic is just like this perfect storm. You have the genetic makeup. You get exposed to the right exposure at the right time, and lo and behold, your body does something it shouldn't. Do a big breath in. Seasonal allergies、Whoa. and the tendency to have allergic reactions often run in families. You're due for a treatment. And you're more likely to have allergic reactions if you have certain medical conditions like asthma, breathing conditions such as COPD, nasal polyps, frequent sinus, ear, or respiratory infections. And last but not least, a severe allergic reaction in the past. Treatments range from over-the-counter and prescription-strength antihistamines and decongestants to steroid-strength nose sprays, eye drops, and allergy shots. I'm ready. But experts agree the best way to treat allergies is with prevention. Find out your personal triggers, whether they be pollen, ragweed, dust mites, or cat and dog hair, and try your best to avoid or contain them. The more you can avoid, the better off you are. Windows closed. Keep the pollen outside. Wash the dog. Don't let the dog bring the stuff inside. For WebMD, I'm Sandy Lamont.